Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com. This is Tim Hall. Hello, how's it going? And he's going to do a little demo for us. We've got our own little private space before anybody else is showing up. So, exclusive. Wait, say that again. Exclusive. For paper yeah, clipping. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, so he's going to do your, well, you can explain what you're doing. So. Okay, so um, these are the new Distress Stain. This is a new product that we're releasing here at the show. And what it is, it is a fluid version of Distress. If you're familiar with Distress Ink, the ink pads, right? Oh, yeah. This is now a fluid version, a liquid version. And people go, well, is it like a reinker? Totally not. This is basically where you can take Distress. It comes in this little bottle. It's got a fabric top right on it. And you can go onto anything porous. So I can go right onto a tag, just like that. And okay, it's distress stain is what this is it's called? Distress stain, yeah. So it will stain anything porous. So I can go right onto a tag. I can go onto canvas if I wanted to. Or if you wanted to take, like, let's say any of your ribbons or trims. Uh -huh. Let's take a brighter color. We're going with some broken china here. I can actually go right on top of this and distress uh -huh. it just like that and just let it dry. This cool. So cool. Now, this has all the same properties of distress. It is reactive with water. So if I wanted to wet this or kind of mix some things around, you could do that with the ink. It's very, very cool. Couldn't be easier. Uh, this is a new product I also released called Craft Resist. And I know you were looking at it going, Ooh. I know, I'm so yeah. excited about that. It's cool. So this is a craft paper that has a printed image. You can see the printed design that's in black. But then you can also see this design that kind of has this enamel finish. And what this is going to do is this is going to resist any medium you put over the top of it. So you can do acrylic paint over the top of it as a wash. You can do your distress pads or, again, because this is fluid, I can go right over this with the stain and I'm able to stain my design underneath, but my top image is going to be resisted. And the stain, I mean, you'll see, especially when you put it down onto paper, it gets really wet and it tends to look pretty dark. But if you go in and dry this with a heat tool, you'll see that as it dries, it starts to get much lighter. That becomes the actual color of the paper, oh. and this part here is dry. Uh -huh. So easy. So now you've got Distress simply by swiping it on. When would you choose to use the Distress stain instead of the Distress ink pad? Good question. <laughs> uh, the Distress ink pad, let me grab a blending tool real quick, because this is, this is the big difference. I mean, people did ask that quite a bit. If you're going to work with your Distress Pad, here's the thing. The Distress Pad, we know, of course, that's our ink pad. So that's going to give us that soft, blended look. That's what you can get with your ink pad. So we can use our blending tool. We can get that beautiful shading. We can do all of that. Yeah. The stain, however, you don't get that shading. The stain is really just to kind of cover large surfaces with Distress. Then you could go back with your ink pads and do your stamping, do your blending, your embossing, all of those things. So. The fluid version is just to cover large areas with ink in an instant. Okay, very yep. cool. Yeah. That is awesome. Time. I know, it's so cool. So, uh, comes in 12 of the colors. We've got some great display boards over there showing you because you can use it again on anything porous. Paper, canvas, trim, wood, anything like that. All right, thanks cool. so much for You're showing welcome. us this. Okay, so this is Distress Stain. Distress and stain. what is this called? This is called Craft Resist. Craft Resist. Yeah, Craft All Resist, right. yes. Thank you so much. Sure. This is Tim Holt. I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com.